Uh, I talked about this briefly yesterday, uh, last week, and I think Prasad set things up for what we call Bible study. And when we do Bible study in the United States, it's an opportunity for the congregation together as one body, as a family. It gives all of us here together an opportunity to ask questions that we do not understand about some verses or some doctrines in the Bible. In my country, we call this being interactive. And what this does is this helps us sharpen iron. Because the scripture tells us that iron will sharpen iron. We are all brothers and sisters here together. Yes. No one is higher than anyone else. Just because I'm standing up here in front of you does not mean I'm any higher or better than you are. And some questions you may have better answers to the problem than I will be able to find in the Bible. One of the important reasons to do Bible study is because the scriptures tell us that we should have our answers ready. Let's read this in 1 Peter. Chapter, chapter 3 and verse 15. And one of the things Bible study helps us to do together is learn how to give those answers. Do you really understand what you believe? If someone comes along and challenges you on your faith, do you know exactly where in the Bible the answer is given? Because as sure as I'm standing here, the Satan and the devil will use your family and other people to try and make you doubt your faith. You have a blessing that the earlier Christians in the first century did not have. How many have Bibles in your lap? Hold them up. Hold up your Bible. You have a blessing from the Lord that most Christians did not have. In the first and second centuries, if you wanted to hear the word of God, you had to go to temple and someone would read it to you. study the word of God yourself. How do you answer the question? Bible, it's listed. It's in two places. 
hates someone that comes to sow discord or division among brethren. So brethren, if a Christian comes to you and brings a doctrine about, okay, these colors of revelation, Meaning that I'm no blue and you're a red and therefore there's causing division. Brethren, whenever you see people having divisions within the church over doctrine, recognize that is Satan the devil in your midst. Those are something we need to be mindful of. Someone that comes amongst us to cause a doctrine to split people up is of the devil. It's not of God. 